I'd like now to introduce you to our chief guest of the event, Mr. Manoj Kohli, Country Head, SoftBank India. Mr. Kohli supports the interest of SoftBank, SoftBank Vision Fund, and there are over 20 portfolio companies like Ola, Oyo, Paytm, WeWork, Katera, Lenskart, and more in India. Since 2015, Mr. Kohli has also been the executive chairman of the SB Energy SoftBank Group and has worked dedicatedly towards building renewable energy projects as well as solar and wind projects in India. His 40 years of work experience is divided between the manufacturing and telecom sectors and one of his key contributions as managing director Bharti Enterprises Limited has been building Bharti's Airtel's India operations during which the customer base grew tremendously from 2 million to 150 million. Mr. Kohli, we are honored to have you as our chief guest and request you to please come up on stage for the chief guest address. Ladies and gentlemen, with a huge round of applause, please welcome our chief guest, Mr. Manoj Kohli. Warm welcome, sir. Thanks a lot and good evening to all friends. I'd like to first thank Sam. I don't know why he invited me, but still want to thank him. Uh, Airtel, building Airtel was a very gratifying journey, especially when you build a brand from ground zero to being number one across categories, and you penetrate 5,000 towns and more than five lakh villages of India. And that journey of telecom of nearly two decades for me was very, very gratifying, not only in India but in other parts of Asia and Africa. Now in SoftBank, as you know, there are more than 20 portfolio companies and these brands are, are growing very well and I'm sure in the next five to ten years these brands will become leadership brands of India. Today I just wanted to share some insights and some thoughts about next five to ten years, how business looks at advertising, how investors look at advertising, and what are the key trends we are tracking. The first and foremost change which is happening, and it's shown very clearly by the analysis presented by Sam, is the digitization across the world. Across the world, all companies are adopting technology, digital media, OTT space for attracting customers. It's, it's, it's a trend which I feel will pick up speed in the next five to ten years, not lose speed. Because companies which are not adopting digitization are slowing down and companies who are adopting it, embracing it, are actually growing faster. So this is a very, very important trend where consumer behavior is changing in a big way and I believe the behavior across in even small towns is now different from five years back. The second major trend we see is youth customer versus older customer. Uh, people who are uh, slightly older like me shouldn't feel that I call, I'm calling them old. You can be attitudinally youthful, but I feel that older customers are gaining a different way of behavior. Housewives are shopping from various e-commerce sites, older people are using iPads and seeing news. Now youth customers are leading this change and the bad news which is, is, is very important for all of us to note is that youthful customers really don't read newspapers and don't see TV. Now that's a, that's a habit which is getting more and more prevalent. And that we have to note down. Maybe in smaller towns, the, 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 the habit is still there, but 
in the bigger towns, the habit is going away, and which clearly says what trend youth is leading, other older customers will also follow that trend step by step. The other thing is about consumer experience. I still feel that whatever you advertise, whether you advertise in traditional media or in digital media, consumer experience finally is the key. I mean, you can say whatever you want to say, you can claim whatever you want to claim. If the experience is weak, I don't think customer will prefer you whatever advertising you are doing. So, I, I feel that the companies will first focus on experience enhancement and should focus on experience enhancement rather than invest money in advertising. So companies who have weak experience should actually hold back advertisement till the experience becomes better and better quality. The other issue which Sam raised was about optimization uh, of, of the ad spend, which I think has been a very important goal of all the spenders. But I think impact is more important than efficiency. Uh, we have to look at impact more closely because impact can overcome the efficiency of cost. Impact can give you a much bigger leap in the market share versus being more efficient. So I, I will go for impact much more than efficiency. Not to say that efficiency is not important. Efficiency is equally important, but impact is more important. And I think technology will play a very, very important role. AI, for example, artificial intelligence and other technological measures now we have makes the optimization far more precise compared to five, ten years back. So you will see in the next five, ten years, by 2025, the, the technology will actually help, AI will help optimization and consumer behavior to be very precisely tracked so that efficiency can be improved and impact can be enhanced significantly. And I think all the investors and business people will like to track this very closely and please do highlight this whenever you are making business deals. At the end, I just want to share with you the four big changes which I feel will happen in the next five years. So let's say if we go ahead to 2025, from 2020 to 2025, these are the four big changes I, I am able to forecast. And I'm not a marketer, neither I'm a, a brand guy, but I think I can smell consumers. And if you smell consumers of large towns, of small towns, of villages, I think you can sense these things happen. The first and foremost <clears throat> change, which is very important, and I think that's written on the wall now, is the digital enhancement. It's very clear from all the analysis Sam has made that traditional media is, the volume is actually degrowing. I mean, you said, Sam, somewhere that the TV viewing has come down by 10 minutes. And you said that even the me, uh, press, these are initial trends of what digital media will do. We believe that if the global digital percentage is 50%, then India is heading towards that percentage. So today we, India is 23%, which is less than half of global average. I think in the next five years, we should definitely go to 50 or even cross 50. Because clearly, you know, static media is something which consumers don't prefer. They prefer online, they prefer on-demand media, which can only come from digital. They want media, they want news of just now. They don't want yesterday's news. They want movies, 
uh, serials and whatever just now as per their expectations, as per their aspiration, as per their feeling rather than as per the schedule of television or as per schedules of somebody else, they will not wait for others to schedule their life for them. So therefore, digital gives that flexibility to the consumer to choose whatever he or she wants to see, wants to read, wants to study or research. So I'm, I'm, I'm very clear that you will see a very steep rise in digital. The second change, which is slightly different from what Sam is predicting for 2020, and maybe Sam's prediction, prediction is short term, I'm saying that the deep markets of India, beyond urban, going into suburban, going into rural, will actually grow very well. And there are companies, and let's say one of the companies I can quote is HDFC, which have gone deep and advertised deeply, advertised into smaller towns, smaller uh, maybe larger villages, so that that brand can actually become a leadership brand. And once you're a leadership brand, you pick up a larger chunk of the wallet of the consumer. The wallet share is better, and, and you pick up more. So I can say with confidence also that Airtel did pick up larger share of this market, India, because we picked up much more of small towns and villages. And same will apply to even, even, even the new brands, which have are, which are come up in the last few years. All those brands will go suburban and rural, because they will like to catch those consumers early rather than late. So that's, that's another second trend, second forecast I, I, I can make. Beyond 2020, I'm talking of 2025. The third thing I like to predict is uh, what kind of products, and again, it's, my view is a bit different from Sam. Sam is talking about premium, premiumization, which is okay for short term, but in the long term, which is another five years or maybe more than five years, the products which are mass products, and I call them Sasta, Sundar, or Tikau. Sasta, Sundar, or Tikau because basically Indian customer is value hungry. And he will go, he or she will go for that. Even if the customer is well to do, he or she will still go for it. So products which will gain will be those kind of products which will penetrate the markets more, penetrate the lower end of the product range. And I think you will see that happening. And many, many companies and brands are doing that already. Last but not the least, uh, I can see a lot of startup brands. And, and Airtel was also a startup at one point of time. It was a small company uh, with, with no brand uh, scores. Same thing applies to many, many startup brands which are already picking up speed, which are already picking up huge amount of market uh, already. I think will be majority of the top 10 brands by 2025. I feel that six, seven, eight, I don't know how many of 10, those are the brands which will take charge of the market. And some traditional brands will still be large. I'm not saying they'll be small, but they will, on, on, a, on a comparative basis, uh, may not grow as well as the startup brands. So startups in India actually are leading the pace of growth, leading the momentum of growth, leading the customer's mind, leading the customer's change in, the, in, the, in how customer behavior is changing, how he or she is trying to uh, get a better experience of, as a customer. So I think these brands will really take charge of customer's mind much more than any other traditional brands. So these are three or four major uh, forecasts which I can make through my own personal experience and knowledge of the market. Uh, at the end, I just want to say that uh, the, these times are unprecedented. I feel that this industry has done so well and has, has grown well, will keep on growing. Uh, 
Uh, economy is already expected to grow by six to six percent plus, and I'm sure H2 will be uh, better growth than H1. So Sam, thanks a lot, and, and I'm grateful for you to inviting me today. Thank you.